Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Thank you so much for tuning in on this fantastic Monday morning. I am over the moon excited to show you today's 2024 Renegade Verona. This is a 40 foot floor plan. It's a bath and a half model. It's called the VRB and man, is it amazing. So please come on in. Let's take a look at this coach. As usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out. So Jody, please go ahead and take her on back. Um, you know, it's really fun to show you some of these new features. So for 2023, we have a new Cape Cod wood interior. And, uh, you know, historically, uh, we went to the driftwood last year, but we have had one wood color. So it's super nice to see this beautiful new light and airy interior in this coach. Um, now, of course, the VRB, in terms of its overall footprint, remains fairly unchanged. So this wood color is one of the new features. But another nice new feature to see in your radius shower here, um, first of all, they still kept in uh, line with being able to lock your children in here when they're misbehaving, so that's great. They haven't done away with that fantastic feature. Uh, but they have changed the location of the faucet, um, or not faucet, but the, uh, the handle for the shower. So when you turn this on and off, you're able to take full advantage of this seat here so you can wash your feet or shave your legs. As they did in 2023, we still have our nice soap dish, our adjustable wand, uh, this is actually a really nice shower head. I don't know if you can see this on there, but there are a number of different settings. So depending on how you'd like to use your shower head, this is a very nice uh, shower head. All of this, of course, is standard uh, by Renegade, uh, as is the skylight. Uh, also wanted to point out in here, in our nice medicine cabinet, we do have adjustable shelves. So these can be moved up or down so they can accommodate different heights of things. And you already have a really tall one up here for those hairspray bottles. Uh, or any of those, you know, taller objects that you might have in your medicine cabinet, hair dryer, flat iron, etc. Um, all of that um, is so nice, but it's also accented by the ability to keep lots of towels, lots of linens, and lots of supplies in this Renegade Verona. This is a really huge amount of storage space here. And then also down here, as you can see, Really easy if you want to put a few towels down here for a quick grab for everybody that's staying in this coach because of course this coach sleeps a lot of people, six or seven depending on how you like to outfit it. Um, but lots and lots of room there if you want to keep some extra towels in the back for everyone to use. Plenty of storage space underneath here for cleaning supplies. Also for your toilet paper dispenser. And then on the note of toilet paper, this is just a great place to keep your treatment for your uh, 75 gallon black water tank. Uh, also your toilet paper and yes I did say 75 gallon black water tank we also have a 75 gallon gray water tank and we have 150 gallons of fresh water uh, so this is a really really nice coach but one of the things that they've changed this year that's super important is um, well actually they changed it last year but they've got a new tank monitoring system that is actually able to be a little more accurate it was something that we found a lot of people were actually installing themselves that had Renegade Veronas or Verona LEs. Uh, so, you know, when Renegade got wind of this great package, they went ahead and installed it in this coach. So you've got much better tank leveling than you did back in 2020 when I had my first Verona. Um, I also just wanted to show you space here. It's really important to understand that this is a very comfortable bathroom. It's narrow. This is taking up a very small amount of space, but the way that it's configured, it's very comfortable. Now new in 2024, we did add some additional drawer storage. So they modified uh, this bedroom so that you have more drawers than you have had in the past. So you've got two tall cabinets, but instead of having uh, three tall wardrobe cabinets, you have a whole extra bank of drawers. Now please take note that these are still that fantastic, beautiful uh, maple uh, with that, again, new Cape Cod finish here, all soft clothes. Now there is new hardware for this year. So you have this bank, you have an additional bank over here on the right, and then you still have your two large drawers that you had last year in this floor plan. So what a great change that they have here. Still a great place to keep your taller shoes, any hiking boots. And then you'll also note that like much, many of the other manufacturers, we've done away with the DVD player. You'll have to supply your own, uh, but everything's pre-wired for you. And then we have our Samsung TV up here, which is a smart TV. We also have our day shades and our night shades. 
And then we have a control panel here. If you want to kind of come around here, Jody, I'm going to show people how to use this. So one of the nice features about this control panel is that we are able to actually control our entire coach through this control panel. If I could just find my RV button, let's go to the Firefly. Okay, so when we get here to uh, home, we can go right here and then we can go to our settings button. We go to the mobile app. All you need to do there is go into your Mira app. Your Mira app is going to look like this. So you'll see it will say uh, unpair so I can unpair whatever I had before. I'm ready to pair now. And when I hit scan, it's going to find this coach. So 246357 is a coach. And until I opt to change this uh, standard pin, which is 001234, I use that to authenticate and it will sync this app that is here onto my phone. Now the reason that this is so nice is when you're in your coach, you can monitor your tank levels, you can monitor your water levels, you can monitor your black water, you can monitor um, your water pump, it can go on and off this way. You can also turn your tank heat on and off. And then you can also control your slides or your awnings with this app. So all of these things are really, really nice. You can also uh, operate your leveling jacks. Uh, we do have the leveling jacks deployed today. You can take a look at what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, charge you have going into your coach. You can see that your, oops, Colorado Buffaloes, sorry about that. You can also see um, your power. You can see wh whether your generator is running or not. You can start and stop your generator here. So a lot of great functionality. And all of that same functionality is here. So you could control your lights, for instance. You can do one zone at a time, or you just touch them, or you could do all of them with your master light switch. So this is a really, really nice interface. And you have two of these panels. So what's so nice about this is I don't have to put my robe on or my pajamas and go up and turn things on and off. I can literally just sit in bed and I can turn my water pump on from the rear if I want to take a shower. I don't have to get up and use this panel at all, but if I want to get up and just turn all the lights on real quick, I could do that or turn them all off for that matter. Um, now on either side of this king bed, you'll see that we have two nice nightstands. I know a lot of people think that these are small, but if you think about it, you know, what are you really looking to keep at your nightstand? You keep your phone right here, it's right next to the charger, and then you have your water bottle on the floor. Why do you do that? Because anyone who has an open water bottle that's kept it next to an RV uh, this nightstand knows that they'll knock that night, they'll like that water bottle on the floor. So really not a big deal that it doesn't hold a whole bunch of stuff. It holds the one thing that's important, of course, which is your phone. Uh, in 2024, Renegade installed a uh, switch up here. There's a 110 outlet for a CPAP machine. Um, I would encourage you to note that if you are going to run a CPAP machine, it may be better to have it at heart level or below. If that's the case, I'm going to go ahead and lift this bed up. You'll see that there's plenty of room on the left or the right hand side underneath for a CPAP machine. Now also under this bed, uh, there's a stand here. You just put this pole in place so that you can hold the bed up. That these are your two 75 gallon freshwater tanks. So you have 150 gallons of fresh water. And what's nice about these tanks is they're located in the coach. And of course that's gonna help prevent freezing. Now these bays are thermostatically controlled, so you don't have to really worry about having your bays freeze, but it's nice to have your water installed inside. And then we have uh, 12 volt uh, heat strips on your gray and black water tank, which do have an exterior exposure. But again, with that thermostatically controlled under bay that you get with the hydronic heat uh, on this Renegade Verona, you don't have to really worry about that as much. Uh, so that's a nice feature. Um, now, as you heard me mention, this is a thermostatically controlled, hydronically uh, heated coach. We also have two 15,000 BTU ACs with heat pumps on the roof of this coach. These are the low profile. Uh, these are the low profile um, uh, Mach 3 air conditioning units. Um, we had had a few issues during uh, production runs throughout COVID with ACs. I just want to assure you that those, pass those have passed. Uh, we are really up and running and really having a fantastic year with the Renegades as they're coming in off the production line. They're in great condition. Uh, they're just really passing through with flying colors. So we've made it through that hard time with ACs that you might read about online. Um, I think that that's just important to mention. 
Now, one of the nice things about this bedroom is that you have this beautiful tufted uh, headboard. This is all new for this year, as are the cabinet decors. Um, and then you have opening windows on either side with day and night shades as well. And then I love the way they close this door just to give you that more open feeling so they have more room for the cabinets. They have a dual closing door and this is super solid and it has a little magnet that holds it shut. So you don't have to worry about it uh, wibbling and wobbling around when you've got the air cut post, uh, pushing through the coach while you're camping. It's actually magnetically sealed so it's nice and tight. Um, so as mentioned earlier, we have the, another wardrobe here, extra bank of drawers. And then here in this center area, you'll see that we have our Splendid washer and dryer. And one of the things that's nice about the way Renegade does these is first of all, they can open all the way. So if you're doing your laundry while you're in motion, you can actually pull, fold everything and put it right down there on the rear bed. Now, of course the bed will be in place, um, but as you can see, these drawers um, hyper extend. So you've got really great access. And this is as narrow as this passageway will be when this coach is fully closed. Um, why is that important to mention? Well, because we have our mid bath here. So we go ahead and show you inside of this, this mid bathroom. One of the things that's so nice about this bathroom is the way that this wall is designed on the VRB. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty narrow. You know, so this is a great place, for instance, to keep glassware, beer steins, wine cups, whatever it may be, coffee cups. Um, because they won't tip, right? It, it's nice and it's it's nice and shallow. Um, you also have this great storage space here underneath. Uh, now, again, once again, nice and shallow, right? So, because of the way that this is constructed, on the angle, you have this huge mid bath, and as you can see, this door opens all of the way. So, on my Renegade uh, Newmar products my Renegade Newmar products. On my Newmar products, oftentimes we have a pivoting door. It's really nice if you are a little heavier, if you are uh, you know, looking to have easier access, maybe you use a cane or you use some kind of assist to get into this bathroom wall in motion. This is a very easy access point. And again, it's always going to be this wide. Uh, and then when you get in here, we have that same great storage above for any of your cleaning supplies or for your toilet paper or any of the treatments that you use for your black water tank. But we, we do have a quick question. Okay, but we do have a really nice, look at how roomy this is. So a really nice seating area. Now Jody says we have a question, so let's go ahead with that question. When you say 40 feet in length, is that bumper to bumper or is that the living space? So this, this coach is going to be uh, 40 feet uh, and two inches long, 40 feet, two inches, and that's going to be bumper to bumper. So no, it's not 40 feet. Um, I watched a few videos on this online. It was a little frustrating. The question was whether or not this coach was 40 feet long. If you are buying bumper to bumper yeah, inside bumper to bumper from the exterior. Um, if you're buying any coach and you're, and you're listening to the, the moniker, for instance, this is a 40 VRB, I think a lot of people will assume, oh, that must be a 40 foot coach. Well, you know, that is not accurate. They can be 40 feet, 10 or 11 inches long. So if you're depending on those measurements, make sure that you're doing your due diligence to do accurate research because this coach is not 40 feet long. It's actually a little bit longer than 40 feet. And we would hate to have you have a barn restriction or a storage restriction that encompasses 40 feet and then have this not fit. So we do have accurate measurements on everything. Um, just to give you a little information, uh, this is 12 feet, 10 inches tall, including the air conditioners, and it's 99.25 inches wide, and it's 40 feet, two inches long. So those are the accurate measurements. Um, and you know, like I said, I watched a number of videos where there was a lot of people just talking about 40 feet, and it's so great. Well. It's not 40 feet. I have a Renegade, or a Ren I keep saying that. I have a Numar Superstar and it's 40 feet, 10 inches, even though it's called a 40, 65. So no, this coach is just a little bit longer, but bumper to bumper, we would be able to, to say 40 feet, two inches and we're good to go. Um, okay, so did you get a cat picture of that while I was opening that? There we go, underneath storage again. Just a, again, just a nice place for cleaning supplies. You don't have to keep them in the kitchen. You can keep them here. And then here, look at the size of this beautiful, um, medicine cabinet. So this is a great place. If, if you're up first and you want to be able to, you know, keep your flat iron or your hair dryer here, you're more than welcome. Be also just things like, you know, like your tissue boxes, the things that you just can't leave on your countertops when you're going down the road. 
Now, of course, again, we have another fantastic fan here with the rain sensor in this mid bath. And I really want you to focus on the fact that this is such a nice, bright and light and cheery, uh, you know, decor. This is so cool. And what's great about this new decor that they have with the Cape Cod cabinets is we're able to go into this new darker furniture. So this darker furniture is, uh, first of all, got a really nice handle to it, but it's also super easy to clean. It's very soft. It's not stiff at all. Um, they also changed their openings here, so they've got a little bit better access to these overhead cabinets. And take a look at how much storage is overhead in this coach. So everything on this coach was redesigned in 2024. And one of the things that's really exciting about uh, Renegade this year is it's always been very expensive to get an all white or all gray coach. Uh, and in this, uh, in this year, they've actually uh, not only come up with four new paint schemes, uh, but they've also come out with the availability of factory ordering white or gray. So if you'd like to do that, you're welcome to. I am going to take these cushions off. Another favorite position from me is that the fact that they're connected, this makes everything really easy to operate. Um, and then just like my last coach, this is a trifold and it's very comfortable. As you can see, uh oh, put your legs down lady. As you can see, this has that memory foam mattress here in the center. And then you also have all of your seat belts. There are three seat belts on this coach. So I don't know if you can see back behind that seat where those other seatbelt tethers are. They are anchored into the bottom. So if you wanted to be able to have your kids here safely, uh, you would absolutely be able to do that. And then, oh my gosh, Jody, seriously, there we go. So you know you've got a nice firm fit when it had to bounce on it. But look at the size of this bed. This is a full queen bed or a true queen bed. This is not a full size. So plenty of room and you can put your cushions back underneath and then again, Another great feature about this coach, I love the way these windows open. You can pop these open, and when you do, if it's raining, you're getting that fresh air, but you're still not going to have water coming into uh, the coach itself. So big windows, lots of fresh air. Uh, this one slides up and down, and so you've got a window here, a window over here to the right of the dinette, also behind uh, the full-size couch. I mean, this is just a great coach for being able to be comfortable and entertain. And then this is really easy to put away. So you just take this, drop it down, make sure you fold in your legs, back into place. And again, I just love it when I don't have to stack cushions. It's so nice when they're all just in one big uh, connected piece. So there's that. Now for anybody who wants to buy a coach like this, one of the benefits, of course, is going to be being able to lay down and watch uh, TV here on this couch. So you've got a huge television here with a really nice sound bar. We've already looked inside the cabinets, but all of these Samsung TVs are so wonderful because they're all smart TVs now. So if you want to watch Apple TV, if you want to watch Hulu, if you're watching football, you know, you've got the Fubo station or whatever that thing is called. Um, super easy. And then we have an 18 cubic foot refrigerator. We have stuck with this design for a number of years because it just works. It's really nice. It's really roomy. It has an ice maker. It has a huge amount of storage in the freezer down below. And then one of my favorite things that Renegade does, which is different than other manufacturers, is they show you red means it's locked. Blue means it's open. So. When you come up here, you'll notice that there's, there's handles up here. They're inside of, this, inside of this little cavity, and they're also down here underneath, but you can't pull this open while you're in motion, and you can tell just by looking back that you have locked that in place. And that's just a nice feature because, you know, when you're going down the road and you hear something hit the side of the refrigerator, if you camp a lot, you know what I'm talking about. You hear that noise and you think, oh my God, are the doors gonna pop open? And you can literally just look back and see that that is actually locked into place. Um, so we talked about sleeping accommodations. So of course the king in the back is going to hold two. This queen size could hold three. We'll just call it two for good measure. This is about 60 inches across when I lower this table. So that's an important feature to talk about. Um, if you had two little kids, they could definitely sleep here. But I'm going to say that you are going to, 
uh, rapidly eclipse this uh, space. This would be good for really littles, but after they hit eight or nine, they're gonna wanna have a little more room. And when that happens, man, oh man, talk about a ton of space. This is seven feet wide. Uh, this is so much room. And as you can see, I can pull this into place. I have it taken out right now because uh, I want to show how easy it is to get in a cab. But Jody, if you could just peer up here and just show how deep this goes. Uh, this is another full size bed. There's an insignia TV on the right. Uh, so this is a great place with a curtain so you, the kids can go up there and watch their own movie. And then over here on the left, they've got their own place to store things. So one of the things that's important for you, you know teenagers, kids that are getting a little bit older these days, they all have their devices. So you've got a place here where you've got a USB, a type C and then two 110 outlets. And I can also uh, control my shade up here. So the kids get up early in the morning and they want to see the sun. They could do that there. If you're the driver and you want to just close that, you can do that there. Again, you can do that on your phone as well. So just a lot of nice access points. Um, now here at the dinette, you'll see we have huge drawer storage. Uh, they're not terribly deep, but as you can see, uh, or I should, they're not shallow. These are deep. They're just not long, um, but plenty of room to keep your dishes and paper plates, placemats, things along those lines. At least that's what I use mine for. And you've got those on both sides. And then here underneath, I'm gonna take the, oh, there we go. Sorry, this is velcroed in place, but I wanted to show you here, when you put that table down, you can remove this. It's nice that they've actually put Velcro on it this year, so it stays in place really well, but you've got another two seat belts. So why is that important? Well, you've got three here, two here, right? So now we're up to five and then two in the front. So this coach can very comfortably sleep seven and it can also seat seven. So I think that that's a really nice feature. Now, if you're gonna seat seven, where are you gonna eat? Well, this is one of the features that really separates Renegade from everybody else. These booths are huge. So you've got plenty of room. You could probably fit one person and two littles on each side and then add another chair at the end and get everybody in here on a rainy day to have breakfast or to have dinner. Because we all know that when we're camping, we're supposed to be outside. But if for some reason you can't be outside and you need to eat inside of your coach, plenty of room here at this table. Again, those nice opening windows that I like so much that pop open like this, giving you all of that fresh air, your day and night shades. And then as you can see, we've got all these new design features for 2024. They've really done a nice job updating this coach. And in speaking of updates, here is a nice new update. We have a stainless steel single basin under mount sink. Now we still have that fantastic pour and spray feature on our faucet, uh, but as you can see, really nice deep, uh, deep basin sink in the stainless steel. This was asked for a number of times. And then you'll also see that I have a lot of counter space and on this counter, I have out a lot of books. And the reason I have books out is because I wanted to show you something I think is really important. And that's reading your book in terms of operations. Now, first of all, new, uh, Numar, gosh, me and Numar and Renegade all getting confused today. Renegade does a really fantastic job at giving you a very nicely labeled book with all of your warranties. Everything is in here. All of your little, uh, you know, guides for your Splendid. Everything is in here. Your insignia information for your television. I mean, everything is, is, is really nicely um, hole punched and stuck in this three ring binder for you. But you'll see where it says slide out mechanisms and operating. So we talk about this all the time. Um, so my first coach was a Renegade Barona. I had a 36 VSB. Watched a video on that this morning. Really important to get some stuff out there. First and foremost, this coach, when you are going to put your slides out, should be leveled first. On my Numar product, you should not level your coach first. So they're very different. If you've had an RV in the past and you think that you're Captain Jack because you've already had one, read your book. There's going to be different operations for each manufacturer. It's really important to understand that this coach asks you to come in here, push your little button, or you could again do it on your phone, go in here and get into your, uh, your leveling system and level your coach before you put your slides out. Very different than the Numar product. So, you know, just like I said, reading these books is super important. Where do you get the information that's accurate? You don't get it off of videos. 
I heard a number of videos this morning that had a lot of inaccurate information. Um, I think it's really important that you get your videos or get your, your information from the book that comes with the coach that you purchased. And on that note, we've got our Allison Transmission Operator's Manual. If you wanna learn how to downshift your coach when you're carrying a heavy load up a hill, you wanna read that. You don't wanna go past that 3,000 RPMs. If you wanna uh, read more about your uh, Freightliner chassis, you can read more in this M2106 chassis manual. These all come with a coach, your on-guard active collision mitigation system. If you want to learn more about your Cummins uh, engine, you can do that here. This is for your L9. So all of these things come with this RV and they're very important for you to reference. Uh, now, things that come with this RV as well, check out all of the storage. This is a ton of room up here for a coffee pot and a toaster oven or a rice cooker, any of those things that you might use all the time, and then more than ample storage for all of your dishes. Again, I keep my dishes down below in the drawer. I think they're easier to access, um, so I don't know what you could fill this up with. I see a lot of cool, like, fake plants and stuff. I love to decorate my coach when I get to my campground. Now, um, one of the things that really changed my life a lot was getting a induction cooktop for the first time when I got my 2020 Verona. Uh, when I got that coach, I had never used induction and I actually was kind of jaded because I had one of those old ceramic stoves. Um, after having this, um, I actually uh, have a new home that I built uh, during COVID. And when I did that home, I actually went to an all induction cooktop because of my experience with the Renegade Verona. This true induction is so cool. Uh, you can set it between one and five, so it goes one to five for heat, or you can go by temperature. So for instance, for me, the perfect eggs come out at between 330 and 360 degrees on this burner. And the cool thing is because that this is a magnetically controlled system as opposed to being uh, propane driven or gas driven, when I get to those higher altitudes, I'm gonna get the same temperature at the 14,000 feet ele elevations as I do at sea level. So this is gonna be a very consistent way to cook. It's also very safe. You can put a paper towel down on top of this burner, put your pot on top of it, and boil water at about a third of the time that you could boil water uh, on your traditional uh, fire, uh, open fire oven. Not to mention, if you've got littles that are helping you cook, you don't have to worry about them uh, having a paper towel or knocking over you know, a box you know, or something like that and having it catch on fire in your RV. This is a very, very safe system. When you remove the pot from the burner, it senses that there's no longer any connectivity and it turns the burner off. It's also not going to be hot to the touch. So very cool feature there. Um, I love the backsplash. Again, I just think that this is such a pretty uh, new light and airy uh, color combination. Um, this is the Athens interior, uh, again with the Cape Cod. And then we have the propulsion exterior, and I'll show that to you in a little bit. Just beautiful. Um, so this high point microwave we've had the entire time. It's also a convection oven. Uh, for anybody who's asking, yes, you can cook cookies in here and you can also microwave burritos. And then take a look at this drawer storage. This is so incredible. So one of the things that's really nice, all of these are dif different depths. So you have different depths. Like for instance, if you've got uh, measuring cups or any kind of large pots or pans, you could very easily use this bottom drawer for those types of items. And then here we've got a great place for your silverware. And then here you'll see we have tons of storage underneath. So really, really great amount of storage in this coach. Um, Renegade still remains to be the only one that can fit a full size trash can in here. And you can take this trash can and stack a black trash can for exterior, a blue trash can for recycle, and then your silver one for interior. And you can stack all three. And then when you get to your campsite, you can take your trash bags out and put them inside and outside. And then new, not only do you have a great place to hang your kitchen towel, but you also have this great cutting board insert. And what I like about this is if I was to use this um, in my Numar, if I flip it over, I feel like it's kind of marred. Um, what's nice about this is this just stores right down here. I don't think anybody would ever come in and go, oh my gosh, look at those cabinet tops. You can really just keep that stored right here. And then again, use that to keep your kitchen towel. And then look at this pantry. Isn't this luxurious? So such a great amount of pantry space. Now, as you can recall, historically, we've always had 
what is kind of some dead space here in this kitchen area. What's really nice for Renegade is that this year, instead of having that in the middle of your kitchen, they've put it over here in a less used area and still giving you all of the storage. And keep in mind, again, these are all adjustable. So for anybody who wants to have, you know, a crock pot or any of those items, you've got so many different places you can store those things here in your Renegade. And your breaker box, of course, is still very easily accessible. Now let's show some of the cool features. We're gonna do one of the slides um, from the outside. Let's see, and we'll do one from the inside. Okay, so again, you push the little arrow down here. You have to know that that's there, because if you don't know that it's there, you're not gonna be able to see it. Oh, signal is stable. There we go. So that little arrow is right there, it pops the screen up. And then now we're on our slide control. We're gonna go ahead, turn off awnings, go to slides, and we're gonna go to front, front slide, retract. So again, I can do this. If I get to my campground late at night and I am looking uh, to get set up and you know my you know significant other is putting the kids down uh, and I have to be able to put my slides out outside and I wanna make sure I'm not gonna hit a tree, I can do this from outside of the coach or inside of the coach. And it's a really, really nice feature. The other thing is, is I can literally do this from inside of the coach without having to go to either one of these control panels. Uh, now you'll see, one of the things that Renegade is absolutely known for is this right here. Look at this access to space. I mean, I have full access to my pantry. I have full access to my washer and dryer. I have full access to my bathroom. I have so much room in this coach to get around while I'm moving. And where does that come in handy? Well, if I need to stop for the night, I have a full-size king bed in the back. I've got a huge couch here. I, I can turn this into a sleeping area as well. So if for some reason I'm not going to be able to uh, deploy my slides, this coach is completely usable even if I am uh, completely closed in. Now on our way out, I do want to show I love this cubby up here. What a great place to keep your umbrella, bug spray, suntan lotion, dog leashes, uh, watering bowls, whatever it may be. Just really nice to have that right above your door. And then over here, you'll see our equalizer leveling system. So we have that equalizer leveling system deployed again. Um, just so you can see, we've got the front, left and right and rear all, in, uh, all fully deployed. Uh, below that, we have our fire extinguisher. This is our house battery disconnect. And then this is to lock and uh, override our step. But one of the reasons I wanna show you this is this is such a nice feature. I can actually close this screen door and pull that step in now because it's got a magnet in it that lets the, lets the step know that I actually have the door closed. And then when I open it back up, the step will deploy. So I love that feature. Um, on our way out, Jody's gonna push our show underneath these steps here. Uh, one of the nice features about this coach is that underneath these steps, we have great storage for flip-flops and tennis shoes and the like. So if it's wet outside and you want to be able to store your shoes underneath here, everybody has a space. And then right above that on the left-hand side, you can see the courtesy lights that are deployed throughout the coach. So a really, really nice feature there as well. Um, okay, so now we're at the propulsion exterior. Um, I love the fact that Renegade seems to be able to do uh, their full paint finish um, in a way that is still like really kind of masculine and aggressive. It's not like paisley, swishy, swoopy things. I mean, this coach is really badass. This is a nice looking paint job. Um, of course, this is a full paint finish. Um, one of the great features I think that they introduced this year is going to be that they took away the chrome steps. Now you still have this really grippy, nice metal step but it's black so it's, we have had to replace so many steps because you know they just tarnish with time this is a great move uh this step still way outplays renegade or the new mars superstar in my opinion um, these are swivel seats they're also going to be air ride and then as you can see they're really nicely tufted you've got armrests on both sides and then also really easy access points uh, throughout the coach and we will cover the cab but we're going to do that uh, after we walk through the outside uh, now before we get too far first things first 
take a look at these Bridgestones. So why do we have 295s up here? Why do we have these big, fat, wide tires? Better grip, right? Why do we have Alcoa rims? The reason that we have these really nice rims is because if we have this rim set, we have less reverberation, less heat, less noise going down the road. Uh, this M2106 chassis has an insulation package available from Freightliner to give you better heat insulation as well as quiet going down the road. Um, this M2106 is built on a spring, spring leaf suspension, as you can see up here in the front. Very easy access to your windshield washer fluid, uh, to your, uh, you know, this is, uh, as you can see, your air drying system. Sorry, that little sticker's kind of sticking over, but your air dryer's right here. Um, you know, you've got easy access to all of your fluids, um, all of your air filters. And again, this is the L9 uh, Cummins uh, this is a 360 horsepower, uh, 1150 foot pounds of torque beast of an engine. And uh, of course, Freightliner does have things like these breakaway front bumpers. I talk about those a lot in most of my videos, but they're just designed to help you mitigate costs. Also, of course, we've gone to an all, uh, all LED light as opposed to halogen lights. Of course, we know that those are better lights. We've got our Voyager camera system here. So when you turn your signals uh, on, you also are going to show a video of the left and the right hand side of your, of your coach. So you can see that you're safely changing lanes. We've got our on guard collision mitigation system here integrated into the coach. This is going to allow you to follow the car in front of you by three, 3.3 or 3.6 seconds following distances and what that means is that those are designed to tell you you know you're 3.3 3.6 or three seconds behind the car in front of you and so you can choose your following distance so that if you're going through like you know the back country and you're you don't need to be so close to somebody you can you know step back a little bit and follow the car in front of you at a further distance versus if you're in downtown Chicago and you're trying to keep up with traffic but your foot's just tired of hitting that accelerator and brake pedal you can let the coach do the work for you, do the accelerating and do the braking for you at a closer proximity to the vehicle in front of you. Um, so that's a nice feature. Uh, now, oh, I wanna show this other side first. Um, so jump points are here. So you've got your positive and negative jump points, your fuel filters right here. Um, and then today, just so you know, we're at stock number 230. 319 again this is a 2024 renegade verona 40 vrb um so one thing i had heard was that you would be able to access and do your service easier on this than you would be in a class a that there would be a different labor rate that is not accurate uh, there are a few stores three uh three companies to be exact that have both full house integration and chassis integration in all of the united states I am sitting in one of the largest RV centers that you could ever shop at. We're centrally located off of I-25, just about 15 miles north of Denver in Colorado. And we have a chassis shop and a house shop. And when I heard that a Class A was more expensive per hour to service than a Super C, I was like, wow, that sounds really untrue to me. Let me just make a quick phone call. So I called my uh, chassis service director and asked him if he had a different labor rate. Absolutely, he does not. The other thing I want to mention to you is there are things well above and beyond filters that need to be serviced in your coach. There's a ton of things that need to be lubricated. There's a ton of things that should be checked. You should always have a technician uh, helping you with the service of your vehicle unless you are really, really handy with a wrench because there are things that are well above the simple filters that need to be serviced on these coaches. Um, and I'll tell you, honestly, we're a full semi-truck company. We have 43 locations. Only four of those locations are for RVs. The rest of them are gonna be a lot of big truck business. So if you wanna buy a coach from an organization that can get you in and out super quick, we are Daimler Elite certified here. We are Cummins certified, we're Onan certified, we're Aquahot certified. All of those things are certifications that we carry here at the store. And we can do all of your house service on, on ground as well as your chassis service. And if you look over here to the left, uh, there's one person who's taking delivery of a new coach and the rest of those coaches are here having service done on them. So we have a place that has 50 amp plug-in that you can plug into have your coach worked on during the day and then we'll bring it back out to you uh, after we close or before we close 
and you can uh, have access and sleep in your coach after we're closed. You also have your own coming and going situation. We lock this portion that gives you access to the new RVs. So if you are coming in late at night, you can still come in, pull into the campground for your 8.30 appointment the next day, get some sleep, and then again, take off, go ex ex explore the you know, Glacier National Park, uh, go explore you know, Estes Park, you know, anything that you wanna do in this area, you can do that from this location while we're servicing your coach. And then you can come back at any point in time after you like, you know, it doesn't have to be before we close, we'll have your coach parked outside for you and you can come in, after dinner, you know, 11.30 at night, if you've been hanging out with the family and your coach will be ready for you to get some, some shut-eye before we take it back into the shop the next day. So just a great feature of this dealership. Um, now, of course, this M2106 chassis is super easy uh, to uh, access and that is 100% true. Um, the other thing that you've got in a Super C is there's quite a bit of engine in between you and anything in front of you. I would encourage you not to run into people or animals if possible. Uh, if you do though, you've got quite a bit of cushion, but keep in mind this lack of living space is why it's so nice to have a 40 foot coach where you still have all of that room that we saw inside. Um, another thing I heard earlier, so you've got this plug here so that you can heat your engine. Um, I, I would encourage you, if it's below freezing, if it's below 30 degrees, make sure you've got your engine heat turned on. One of the number one codes that we have thrown on this coach is a cold start code. If you start your engine co cold, this coach will think that something might have been damaged and it will want you to go into the shop to have that code cleared. That will cost you under $200, but north of 100. Uh, when that happens, it's not a warranty issue. It's because you started your engine cold. So use your block heater. That's what it's there for. Don't not use your block heater until it's below zero or something. I don't know. Whoever said that, I was like, well, you must not ever go camping in Colorado because we have a lot of mornings here where it might be 80 degrees during the day and it might be 25 at night. And if that's the case, make sure that block heater's on and you're getting that coach nice and warm before you turn that engine over. Um, also, you've got a dual fill 50 gallon uh, tank here. So you got 50 here. 50 on the other side giving you a total of 100 gallons and then your def tank access is really nice and convenient it's right next to your fill station so when you pull into the one of those truck stops that has def fluid you can go ahead and fill that uh, at the same time that you're filling both of your tanks and it sounds like we've got another question oh yeah, so somebody's asking me about the cost of taxes and registration. Um, I don't know what state you're in. Uh, feel free, you know, you can reach out to me. I'm easy to get a hold of. This is my phone number. I'm at 303-562-8659. Um, I'll pull a tax locate and tell you exactly what it will cost you to register your vehicle. Um, I know here in the state of Colorado, if you have uh, anything running deaf, which is gonna be diesel emission fluid, giving you a very clean burning engine, there's a great exemption that we have uh, taken advantage of as a large truck dealership, and you are exempt that 2.9% state sales tax, but I don't know how it works in your particular state. So any tax information or pricing information, uh, one thing I wanna make sure you understand, I came into this dealership as a client and I've worked in really high, high line uh, auto sales my entire life. For 20 years, I sold Mercedes and Audis. And the reason I was able to be so successful is complete transparency and an abundance of information without any hassle. So if you wanna get a price on, you know, what's the retail price on this, you know, MSRP versus our sale price, including your sales tax and a complete bid, you know, sent over to you uh, by scanned, you know, DocuSign, whatever is most comfortable for you. I'm happy to provide all of that information to you so you can get exactly what it would cost you to become an owner of this particular coach. Um, okay, so again, deaf fluid, um, you know, again, use this. If you're gonna be in a cold situation, use this. Uh, when you close these guys, make sure you got your hand away from this clip. Um, when I first started working here and doing these videos, I spent a lot of time with band-aids on the palm of my hand for getting my finger caught in there. I'll tell you what, it's shut and it's wicked. So you just don't wanna partake in that if you don't have to. Uh, make sure that you're just staying clear. Now, right here, one of the things I wanna talk about is this integrated brake controller. So this is right here. So you've got an integrated brake controller to this coach. Again, you've got your swivel seats. This is where your uh, chassis disconnect is. So you've got your house disconnect at the doorway. Chassis is right here. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hop up here. Jody, don't get me in the butt. 
Go ahead and step back, buddy, because this is way up there. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing worse than, than being on camera crawling into an RV. All right, so big horn, little horn. Yeah, they both work. Uh, step the control for your for your uh, steering wheel right here. Hazard lights are up here. You've got fog lamps. You've got an engine brake. It's dual stage. You've got your Allison transmission right here. Power windows, power locks, heated mirrors. You can lower and raise the back of this vehicle. So drop your rear suspension so you can get your tr your tow vehicle on there. Um, you've got lane alert, so lane tracking is going to be part of your mobilized system. And then you've got your Wabco, and that's going to be your distance control for your cruise control. You've got a tire pressure monitoring system. You've got Garmin navigation. You can hand this to somebody, and they can go ahead and get everything put in that map and then put it back on there for you. That's a nice feature. You've got a cigarette lighter because go USA. And also you have a, a place where you can plug in your radar detector. If you need a radar detector on this coach, you are crazy. Uh, okay, also, great place to put a Cobra system in here. As you can see, when we look out this window, we are already pre-wired for this. So if you want to have a walkie-talkie, 10-4, big buddy, we can put one in for you. But I wanted to show you this. Look at how nice this is. So if I want to go out that side door as opposed to one of these front two uh, openings, really nice that I can stand up in this coach when this is not deployed. The other thing that's great about this is I can take these cushions out and pull this into place and have a ton of room for storage inside my coach where it's not going to cook. So that's pretty cool. Now in 2024, Renegade is going to keep with the M2106 chassis as it stands. I believe that we'll see the M2106 uh, plus chassis come into production in 2025. I'll tell you folks, one of the things that changes is their tire pressure monitoring system is fully integrated into the chassis. They mush all these buttons over, give you steering wheel controls, um, but you don't get a second monitor. You've got a very similar dash configuration and this is simplified. I have to tell you, as somebody who operates an M2106 on the regular, I like knowing where my buttons are. So I'm totally fine uh, with this cab as it sits. If it's something that you're you know, gonna spend an extra $30,000 on because you think it's great, one thing to tell you is Freightliner did not include your tow vehicle in their tire pressure monitoring system. So you're still gonna need an aftermarket system if you uh, buy that M2106 Plus for your tow vehicle. And no offense, you guys, um, if, <laughs> if you got a flat tire, you're going to feel it this rig, but if your tow vehicle's whomping all around and you got to wait for someone to drive up and honk at you and get you to roll your window down to let you know that the Jeep's got a flat, that's a problem. So, like I said, if you're holding out to spend more money on that M2106 Plus over the M2106 that we're currently selling, just make sure you understand what's changed on it because a lot of the things that you're seeing, lane tracking package, mobile eye, tire pressure monitoring systems, are already integrated into this chassis by Renegade. Renegade does a really nice job with that. Um, now, in terms of the curtain that comes out here, I've got people who've asked to see this. I'm just gonna show you. It comes out and it goes all the way around. Um, but, you know, this is an M2106 chassis, so you can get those Mylar backed uh, window shades. And I think that they actually operate a lot better at keeping the, seat, the heat out. They suction cup onto these side windows and then they roll out and you just put them right here underneath this visor in the front. And you can still use your curtain, but that is gonna keep the heat out a lot better than the curtains are going to. And that's on all these M2106 chassis. If uh, Heat Shield is the company, if you look them up, Heat Shield RV shields, or I don't know, RV window inserts, that's where you'll find those. Okay, so let's go ahead and start like we normally do around uh, the starboard side of this coach. We've covered the steps, big, beautiful chrome convex mirrors that are power. Uh, here is, we have one ottoman. I, I, I still struggle with this. We used to have two, but we get one. There's storage in here. I can order you another ottoman and have it shipped. Um, I think the ottomans are fantastic. We were talking about having that sixth person sitting at that dining room table. Great place to have someone sit. And you can flip that over and there's a nice flat surface on top where you can put your glasses so you could also eat on the couch or you just have your beverage there, you know? 
uh, but tons of storage here. And what's really nice is this is all uh, open. So this is not connected. As you can see, you can have a really long item in here and have complete accessibility. You also have these little grommets, which are so nice because if you wanna be able to run uh, your, is that open? Yeah, that's open. Oh, there we go. If you wanna be able to run your, uh, your blender, for instance, outside on your picnic table, make some margaritas, you've got an outlet right here, and then you've got a place where you can put this through and have your, uh, whatever you need to have plugged in, plugged in out here. You also have nice lights inside of here, so you've got access uh, that you can see not only at night, but during the day as well. So just nice to have things like that. Now, make sure uh, when you do get on the road and you're ready to get down, get going, you put this back in place because these nice carpet line bays keep you from having so much rattly noise, but you don't want them to be all wet. So you just close that up like that. Good to go. Um, another Samsung television out here with another sound bar. I can almost reach this one. I'm not going to let it go. Um, but there's a power port there as well on the left. And you can just sync this to your phone so you don't have to watch TV outside. If you want to be able to just listen to the radio or, you know, podcast, whatever you can. Also, you can air up all of your tires with this. This is reaching uh, far enough to get all six of your tires aired up. And then I just want to talk about this latch system on these doors. These are really the best latches. Renegade has one of the best latch systems available on the open market. And then look at how deep that storage tray is down there. It's really quite amazing. Now we talked earlier about the slide control. So as you can see right there, I've got that Gerard awning rolling in as I roll in that slide. So you've got your slide toppers are all gonna be standard. And so again, if there was a tree there and I wanted to deploy that from the outside, I can just do that with a touch of the button on my phone. So I think that that's really, really nice. And again, of course, we have another great amount of storage back here behind our rear drive axle, a little more room because we don't have uh, any of that power coming in from the front to the rear or from the rear to the front. So that's kind of nice. I mean, I don't know how many fishing poles or hockey sticks you could fit in there, but that's a bunch. Oh, and you know what we're gonna do, Jody? Because people always tell me it's too noisy. We're gonna go ahead and stop that generator. Yeah, so I just turned that generator off with a click of a button right on my phone. A uh, great place here to keep any of those like five gallon buckets, uh, maybe your uh, Outlander fire pit. And then one of the things that Renegade does that's so nice is that they, in, they have a, a fiberglass cap on the back that's two portion. So you've got that breakaway bumper in the front uh, by Freightliner. This is a Renegade feature. So if you happen to get like any kind of marring or scratching, it's usually gonna come down here. This is removable, so you don't have to replace your entire end cap there. Now um, you have, of course, your dual sided hitch so you can flip that receiver over. Again, your Voyager camera system is already pre-wired for you. So is your seven pin connector. Um, if you would like to have your tow vehicle uh, towing behind you, you will still have to install a ping tank and airline onto this coach. Um, I have to say we have the best uh, tow package installation program I've ever heard of. Uh, there's a kid named Josh that works here. We call him Little Josh because there's a big Josh and a little Josh. Uh, second to nine, the guy is so first class. He takes so much time making sure your wiring is tucked in nicely. He won't damage the interior of your vehicle. Uh, he knows exactly what he's doing. He does all of our tow packages. You get a whole walkthrough on how to link up your vehicle, how to get everything set. And honestly, you know, we might not be the least expensive one in the marketplace, but I promise you one thing, we do provide the best experience when it comes to the delivery and any of these additional market, you know, uh, aftermarket items you like to have installed especially these tow packages. So that's really nice. Um, again, oh, I have this out here. This is only a 30 foot power cord. Um, mine's a 50, but mine is all the way at the front of this coach. So that whole 20 feet of extra power cord doesn't matter because my pole is probably right about where I'm standing. So this is a really nice location to have your power cord. And then I also just wanted to remind you, uh, roll it up. It'll come right then, right there through your grommet. Goes into place. You still have plenty of room in here next to your surge protector. Uh, Renegade does give you a complimentary uh, 50, to, 50 to 30 downsizing uh, as well. Uh, so you don't have to buy one of those. It'll come with one. You might want to have an extension cord, honestly, for that. But 
that's okay. Um, and then you'll see again lighted with power in this rear bay. So if you wanted to again run something out, if you've got something to plug in, that's a GFI grounded outlet. You can come right through here and you can run it out to your picnic table, wherever you like. Uh, here we have our eight kilowatt or 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator by Onan. Uh, you can read your hours right here. And again, I can start this here. I can start this at two control panels inside of the coach or I can simply start it from my phone. Just really, really nice access here. Uh, you'll note that we have, again, of course, our equalizer leveling system is telling us this coach has got to really kind of uh, throw up its uh, front um, supports much higher than normal. So we've got these down, so you can see how low this is sitting. This is giving you just less hyperextension on those front jacks. And then to the left of that, we have our water bay. This water bay is so cool. You've got a whole house water filter. You've got your uh, you've got your low point drain right here. You also have a power water hose. You retract buttons right here, and it gets this guy in and out. There is also a cap for storage, which is really nice. Um, and then, as you can see, all of this is etched. And as I mentioned earlier, we've gotten to a more uh, accurate sea level two tank monitoring system that is digital uh, going forward. Uh, what we found was a lot of times um, with our previous system, it would show that it was at 66%, but my coach, my Renegade Verona, never told me that I had 100% water capacity. We literally just lift, lift up the bed, see how full the tanks were, and let the water run. And if we started seeing it come out the bottom, we knew that we were full. With this, you actually have a very nice digital uh, tank monitoring system with sea level that is also available for you to monitor on your phone. So again, very, very nice system by Renegade. Um, this little guy here is for a black water hose. I don't know, we never really used that for our gravity hose. Um, your gravity hose, by the way, goes right there. Get that little water spigot out of the way. That's for your shower. But um, we never we never used that. Um, so, our, your black water hose attaches here and it runs through this port. We always just kept ours in here. Um, and I do think that you want to have one that has clear elbows on it so that you can see uh, when the waste has been uh, run all the way through your coach. So while you're rinsing, you can tell when you're clean. And then as you can see here, we have, these are again, 12 volt uh, heat systems that we have on this coach. And these are monitoring again, where when you're full or not full with your gray and black water tank. So just a much better, much more accurate system. Um, Aqua Hot 250D, let's talk about it. Uh, this is a very, very controversial unit. Uh, there was a first generation Aqua Hot system. I had it. Um, it did, it had issues. Um, you know what? They were great, they fixed them. After they were fixed, I never had issues with it again. This is gonna be a third gen though. These are really tried and true at this point in time. We don't have Aqua Hot units anymore. So if you're reading on a forum or you're doing, you know, your due diligence, which I encourage you to do, just make sure you make a phone call, reach out to a professional to find out whether or not this boiler system is actually working well for you because this Aqua Hot 250D is very reliable. Um, the most important thing is you need to have Aqua Hot juice. If you mention that you've watched this video, I will include a free gallon of Aqua Hot juice. You would not believe how many people don't carry a hydronic fluid in their uh, in their RV centers because most of these coaches are not hydronically heated. This boiler system is heating a tube of liquid that goes up through and throughout the coach. And what it does is it actually uh, heats a whole tube of liquid that's heating your bays and giving you uh, hydronic heat in the coach. Now, when we say hydronic heat in the coach, this is through that tube where it's pushing a forced air on top of the tube. This is not like the Tiffin model where they have the hydronic fluid in the floor. We don't do that. If you could only imagine how hard that would be to quell if you had an issue, we don't have that going on in this coach. But our hydronic tube goes through here and is heated by this, um, by this boiler system. And that's what's giving you great heat at even lower temperatures. So your heat pumps work down to about 30 even 38 degrees and they start kind of blowing the like lukewarm air through them when it starts to get too cool this system will keep your coach nice and toasty in the dead of winter so if you're if you're a snowmobiler or if you like to get up into those you know arctic areas you want to get up into alaska and go camping this is the rv for you a fully uh, hydronic coach is much better than something that has propane you're going to have a lot better heat in this rv 
It's also going to provide you uh, unlimited hot water when you're plugged into 50 amp and uh, sewer and black water. Like you could literally take a shower for 12 hours straight. Now, if you're not plugged in and you're, and you're boondocking, which is what this coach is fantastic for, keep in mind, your hydronic system can also be, bun can be run off of your diesel tank. So you can run this hydronic heat system and have hydronic heat and hot water running off of your diesel tanks without having to have any propane on board. If you want to bring propane with you, get an egg crate and buy a container, use it for your barbecue, use it for your outlander fire pit, but you don't need to have that to operate your coach comfortably, nor do you need to have it to cook. Um, so that's just a fantastic feature of this unit. Um, another great storage space here, you know, just a nice, nice feature. And then next over to the left, we're gonna talk about this AGM battery. So there's an AGM battery here. This is not the Lithionics package. And then there's two chassis batteries. Chassis batteries, of course, are gonna power everything having to do with your engine. And then the red battery is an AGM battery. That's going to power your house. Now this coach has three solar panels on top of it. So plenty of solar. I have the same uh, 525 watts on top of my Superstar. Um, we use the same system that Renegade does when we install them here at the, at the dealership. I could add another panel to you if you wanted. But keep in mind, that solar is designed to fill these batteries. And if you've got 300 amp hours of storage, I don't care if it's lithium or AGM, it doesn't matter. It's the amount of storage that you have. You don't need lithium batteries unless you want them. And there's different reasons to have them. But if you would like to be able to run this coach on AGMs and have your air, uh, have your air conditioner on, it's not gonna happen. If you wanna be able to run your microwave, it's not gonna happen. If you wanna be able to run your, uh, your washer and dryer, it's not gonna happen. All of those things will require you to run your generator. That is across the board, lithium or AGM. So the benefit of lithium only comes if you wanna do those other things. You can run an air conditioner if you have a second inverter. With this 3000 watt inverter, you do not have the ability to do that with AGM or with lead acid batteries or with AGM batteries. So that, that whole myth that I heard this morning about being able to keep your refrigerator running and charge your cell phone and watch TV, you can do that with this. I did it for two years with this. It was no problem. Um, you don't need to have lithionics if you don't want to spend the five grand on the upgrade. Honestly, between your generator and your solar, you have plenty of power to keep these things full so that you can run your refrigerator overnight while you're sleeping. When the sun comes up the next morning, your solar is going to start filling these full, whether they're AGMs or, let, or whether they're lithium. So, you know, I just, I really, I hate in, in, incorrect information online because I feel like it really um, doesn't benefit the consumer to have that information. Now listen, Lithionics is fantastic. They have a whole lot of great things. If you wanna get a Battleborn battery, a Dragonfly, Lion, there's a whole bunch of great lithium companies out there. Uh, you can absolutely take advantage of this. There are people who certainly should have lithium on their coaches. If that's you, let me know. If you don't know if it's you, ask me. I would be happy to help answer some questions and tell you why you may consider that extra charge, that extra cost with your coach. Uh, but this system, again, if you want to be able to run your uh, coach overnight and have your uh, television on, make sure your refrigerator is still, you know, keeping your ice cool, you know, all of those things that can be done with this system just as well. And it's quite a bit less money. So uh, not just now, but later. So that's also cool. Um, again, here's those cool windows opened up from the outside. As you can see, you can tell how those would like allow the rain to roll right off the side of the coach while you're still getting that great ventilation and fresh air. Um, as you can also see, we've got this nice fiberglass cap over here. It's seamless. There's not gonna be any kind of perforation or leaks coming into that. Uh, so this overhead bunk over cab is an optional feature that we put on every single one of our units. Whether you've got kids or it's for storage, it's fantastic. Uh, this again is a 2024 Renegade Verona 40 VRB. My name is Katie O'Neill. You're looking at stock number 5N230319. Again, 5N230319. If you want to buy an RV from a dealership that knows what they're doing, give me a call. Let me know how I can help. You can find me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping.